I'm Tim Heidman from Shoreline Studios, and we're making this videotape today to give you an early look at a software package that's nearing completion. It's for illustrating on top of live video, and it runs on Silicon Graphics computers. Let me show you a little bit about how it works. If you've got a live event that you're uh, wanting to comment on top of, I can grab a, a frame there. And just like a Telestrator or a Sketchpad, I can reach over to the touch screen and create graphics on top of it. One nice thing that you can do uh, that you can't do uh, on some of the other devices is when I get it just the way I like it, here's what you'd see at home, I just push one button and it plays back. Uh, if I don't like something, I can change it. Okay, that's exactly what I want. I'll go back and play it. If I want, I can back up and stick a pause in there so that when I play back, I can show you that part, talk about it a little bit, and show you the next thing that I want to talk about. Now, these graphics uh, that are on the screen now uh, are coming from the Silicon Graphics machine. It's got a little bit more power, so we can walk over to the SGI and do something like uh, grab the line width and play with it uh, if we want. These graphics could even be animated. We can do nice looking things like uh, pick a different color scheme, like yellow chalk. So we've got a lot of control over the look, over the texture of the line, uh, over how the line behaves. So with these kind of drawing capabilities, suppose you wanted to diagram uh, some sort of action uh, on the field. You could come back and draw your X's over here and some O's over here to represent the different teams. But that's kind of tough to do, very tough to get it to look the way you want it to do live and on air. So we give you some drawing tools to help out with that process. Here's a little X, here's a little O. Uh, right now these things look like perfect symbols, but we can make them look like uh, hand-drawn symbols that uh, are just always appear on the screen perfectly. So you can set up exactly what you want to show, and it's there immediately available. Uh, these symbols can get more complicated. For instance, uh, suppose I want to start with an X and have him go there, and another X and have him go there, way down there, and put some O's in there too. So there we've got some additional graphics on top of it with a little behavior in how they draw on. So when you look at it, that's what it looks like. Uh, get to that point and animate them. So we've got complete control over the objects that are on the screen and can do all sorts of very complex uh, procedures with them. Uh, let's pick another one. Here's uh, if we like to have curved paths. Uh, we've got a couple of shapes that let us do that. Wind it back, what you see at home. is a nicely diagrammed play that you've created right there uh, in real time. The other nice thing, um, let that thing run through it if you want. The other nice thing about these graphics is this is all happening in 3D. We've made these look like 2D symbols, but I can very easily move our virtual camera around even while it's drawing and see that same play from a different angle. I can even, uh, while it's at this weird angle, grab my freehand tool and illustrate on top of it. I can uh, add additional animated symbols. I can uh, start the whole animation running from there. Right now, we've made these objects look like they're two-dimensional drawn shapes, in this case, kind of yellow chalk. But there's no reason these couldn't just be three-dimensional objects. So these could be 3D models of football players. And we say, and when we say start here and run here, we could actually see the 3D model run from point A to point B. So it really has the opportunity to be a completely flexible, powerful 3D animation system. Um, this runs on both the Silicon Graphics workstation and on the touch screen, and how they work together is completely configurable. So if you want, you could have this box down in the production truck and this up in the uh, commentary box. Uh, you, we can have the entire system run from 
the touch screen. Uh, right now we've put all these features uh, around the sides of the frame so that when you touch the touch screen they act as buttons. But that's all configurable. You might just have one button down here to erase the screen. Or you might fill up the screen with buttons. It really depends on how you like to work with the touch screen. Uh, all the features are available on the SGI. So I could very easily uh, come down here and draw on it. Uh, the idea is that a production person might be responsible for setting up all the plays, setting up the graphics, calling things up from uh, the library of moves, and making them available. And then the person who's got to talk about it might just need to push one button, and it's all set up and running. Um, it's very easy to create plays and save them off to disk. So in a very short time, you could have a library of 50 example plays that you might want to talk about, call them up virtually instantly, make slight modifications, add additional drawings on top of it. So you've always got graphics available for the specific situation that you're trying to cover. Uh, of course, this is uh, applicable to a lot of uh, different kinds of sports. Let me uh, uh, give you one example here of golf. Now, one thing you might want to talk about on the green, for instance, is if there is a ridge here that he's got to worry about, such that he might hit his shot and have it go left, we can design special graphics to more accurately reflect that, um, complement what the live action is showing us, and really give some insight into what is happening uh, on the green. Uh, you could imagine this in a lot of different applications, certainly for every different sort of sport, uh, in news, uh, as well as uh, business uh, uh, analysis, a number of different applications. So as a general purpose illustration and animation tool, it's really very powerful and we're looking forward to seeing all the different kinds of applications that we can use it for. Um, it's really just a starting point. Uh, we can talk about all sorts of exciting possibilities. For instance, the live 3D graphics moving around we can tie that motion to the motion of an actual camera in the arena or in a studio so that as the camera pans around, the graphics that you've drawn onto the virtual set actually appear to stick to the grass or stick to the walls and the floor of the stage that you're working on. Um, it works very well with 3D virtual worlds as well. So if we're doing some tracking and 3D map animation systems, it's very easy to complement that environment with the live illustration and animation environment so you can have animation on top of virtual objects as well. I hope this has given you a little glimpse of some of the possibilities uh, of this software. Uh, we're very interested in exploring what those possibilities might be and uh, look forward to a very exciting year ahead. Thank you for your attention.